Doorbells are pretty easy these days now. Um, you can go to Home Depot and buy the components very simply. People do it as a home improvement project, so it should be pretty But, you know, not always. So the components we have, we've got, this is our actual generator of sound. This is an electromagnetic coil. And what happens is we've got... We've got it plugged in. We've got our transformer here that takes the regular power and steps it down to 10 volts so it's not going to blow our, our system. And if you notice, we've got our lines here. So we've got our power coming in and we've got one line coming to our button that is going to buzz. And we've got one line coming to our unit directly. So then this line comes here and it comes back out and then goes back into our unit. What happens is when we press this button, we close the circuit. So we're actually connecting these two cables. When that happens, it's going to cause this clapper to magnetize and hit this metal bar. So it's going to pull up, which is actually going to buzz this. As soon as we let go, it stops magnetizing, which releases our little metal clapper. So, and the very exciting thing is that you get to actually see it. Um, the same concept goes for, you know, any kind of push buttons you can use. Um, whoops, and I just lost so it won't work because we broke our, our circuit. So when you're doing these things, you just need to kind of think about, make sure that you have a circuit flowing all the way through. Um, and there are, I will email you guys the, the kind of diagrams. There are pictures that kind of help understand this uh, and explain it. So since we're not doing the full lecture, I'll just email that to you guys. Probably put it up on Moodle as well. But the basic concept. And then it's the same thing for uh, a bell or like an, a school bell or a fire bell, except that this clapper is attached, uh, it's longer and it's attached to a little clapper that will then hit the bell instead of buzzing up against this thing. Does that make sense? Cool.